Hey everyone, it's Suki, and today I wanted to talk about choosing your main. I get lots of questions uh, about the topic, and uh, in this video I wanted to discuss the usual advice I tend to give to players and why I consider them to be uh, important. And you know, with patch 4.2 just right around the corner, it's a good thing to be considering pretty much going into a new tier of content with what is essentially a fresh slate to really start thinking about maybe trying something new. And so for this video, my main focus is to really just present some questions to ask yourself to help you decide what you want to do uh, with your time and the gear that you have to invest. So let's just get into it. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully not too long of a video. Now it's worth noting that uh, some people may decide they don't need a main and you know, if you don't have any intentions on raiding, it's quite acceptable to really just gear whatever spurs you in the moment. Uh, but even non-raiders or people who only raid occasionally still want to, you know, focus their time and effort onto one job first or a couple jobs. Uh, so with that being said, let's just get right into the first bit of advice I like to offer. Uh, and that is, what jobs are you good at? And you know, that sounds pretty self-explanatory and really thinking about all of the points I'm going to make, they're all kind of like that. Uh, but it's worth taking into account. Uh, for some people, it just isn't fun or engaging to be utterly confused and have no idea what you're doing because you just can't wrap your head around a job's mechanics. And there are jobs that are simple, and sometimes players find certain playstyles to be more intuitive. And when you're playing where others can constantly see how you're performing or try and tackle more of the uh, difficult pieces of content the game has to offer, it can provide some ease to know that you're on a job that you're familiar and comfortable with. So, you know, playing the game should never be needlessly stressful because you know it's a game after all you know should be having fun and that leads me into my next point and uh, the one that I consider to be the most important really and uh, that is what is the most fun to play it is a game you know after all and really every point I make into this video or make in this video uh, can lead back to this because having fun should always be a top priority for playing a game although there is room for argument depending on the player but uh, when people ask me for advice on choosing between, you know, job X or job Y, I always offer the same question back to them and ask which they have more fun playing. Uh, but sometimes ranking your fun factor isn't so easy as just a list from 1 to 15 because there are 15 different jobs in the game right now. Uh, so, you know, I like to offer more things to consider. But uh, when it comes down to it, this is the most important thing, I think, is choosing what's the most fun to play. I mean, it's a video game, uh, after all, and you should be having fun. But uh, another thing to think about is uh, choosing a job that fits best with the people you play with. Uh, this is an MMO, and you'll be playing with others constantly, and when you want to play with your friends, it might be an issue if all three of you are on DPS jobs, or maybe you'd like to join a raid group and they happen to need a healer. You might consider rolling one to suit the group's needs. And uh, sometimes, you know, the people you play with can matter a lot more than just the job you play. And that's a valued argument for an online game. You're supposed to be playing with friends, really. And uh, it's it's a little annoying when uh, you can't play with your friends because you all just, you can't fit into the party compositions that the game offers to you. It can be annoying. So, you know, sometimes people might choose playing over the people they want to play with over playing their most preferred job. And... That's really something to consider. And uh, let's bring it all together for now. Uh, in my opinion, the most important bit of advice I personally give to anyone still trying to decide on their job is to pick what is the most fun. The other two points I mentioned, playing what you're good at or picking a job that fits with the people you want to play with, both feed into that point as well. It's more fun to know what you're doing and less stressful being on a job you're comfortable with. And it's also a lot more fun to play with friends and having a dedicated group to tackle more difficult content takes out the headache of having to search through pug groups to get you your clears which trust me I know how that feels it's it's a little frustrating some weeks but uh, yeah but you know all these points kind of require you to have some amount of experience with the game or maybe a group of friends to even play with in order to choose your job around them and you know some people are still getting into the game you know they're just starting out they won't have either of those things they won't have the experience they don't have a group they want to play with yet, they're still looking for a free company. Uh, it's kind of difficult to know what you're good at or what you find the most fun if you hadn't had that much time to really try out most of the jobs in the game. And for those people, the best advice I can even give, if that even really counts as advice, 
is to pick something that looks the coolest. You know, I imagine there are quite a few people who are coming into the game who have played other Final Fantasy games before, and a majority can look at a job and be like, this is Black Mage, this is Monk, this is Dragoon, this is Paladin, and also, what the hell is a machinist? Like, like seriously, did it just throw a wrench? Am I the only one who, who didn't know what a machinist was before they talked about it? In, uh, in, in before Heaven's Word? Because I seriously, what the hell is a machine? Uh, I'm sorry, machinists. But um, really, yeah. In all seriousness, or in all seriousness, uh, since you really have the ability to freely change classes and jobs and pretty much level everything on a single character, and it's something I do on my main character all the time. Uh, it isn't really a waste to try out uh, s some of the jobs you like, uh, just to see if you like it, really. Or some of the jobs that look interesting. Man, I just... Why even write a script, man? Just why? But anyways, until you can get a foothold on how each shot plays and where your taste and strengths lie, it's really just good to try everything, really. And, you know, this game does support that, so it's not a bad bit of advice, but some people might feel like you're wasting your time. You end up leveling 30, 40 levels or something you're not actually enjoying. So, I don't know. It's a tough one there. I mean, it's a little different uh, now looking retroactively back of when I started playing the game myself and didn't really know much about anything. But, uh, you know, I knew. I looked at Bard and was like, yeah, I want to play that. And I looked at White Midge and was like, yeah, I want to play that. So, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, not as cut and dry as that for other people. But, you know, at least you can have, you know, some solace in knowing that even if you do level something you don't like, it's not that hard to switch uh, and level something else on the same character and not have to spend more money on a different account, so there's that for you. Uh, now it's also worth noting that uh, without gear, it can be shared across multiple jobs and uh, you can feasibly have several main jobs, so to speak. Uh, if you're capable of obtaining the weapons for each job, uh, all three tanks, all three healers, all three casters, uh, both physical range DPS, so Bard and Machinist, as well as samurai and monk all share gear together and by that I mean like in the groupings I just listed like they don't all share gear together uh, that that might have been worded a little weird uh, unfortunately if you do choose dragoon or ninja your left side gear is only usable for those jobs uh, but at least you know you can share accessories with some of the other jobs so thanks uh, other than that, uh, you know, make sure to obtain weapons for each job, and really the only other issue that may come up is, uh, you know, sometimes jobs have different best-in-slot secondary stats. Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head, you know, Black Mages used to really like spell speed, but none of the other casters really have much use for that. But, uh, you know, that's just one example. I don't even know if that's still true anymore, because I don't play Black Mage. Uh, I haven't played Black Mage uh, since Heaven's Word, but... It's an issue that can come up, but honestly, and more casual content, you know, secondary stats, it's it's not really that important, and usually even when you do have several main jobs, like I said, uh, you usually have an idea of which one you like to play the most. Uh, you know, certain fights might be better for th this job over that job, but again, you have an idea of what you'll like the most, and even if you can play several jobs and have them all geared, you will know, you'll probably have one uh, that you look at and play the most, so. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Not too long of a video, really. And, uh, honestly, maybe this all sounds like really simple and honestly self-explanatory advice that you didn't need some random person on the internet telling you. Uh, but it really is what I consider to be the most important thing to consider. Uh, of course, if you have your own advice you'd like to offer as well, free free or feel free to share them in the comment section uh, with the new patch almost here uh, it's a good idea and a good opportunity to consider if there's maybe another job you might want to uh, think about trying out maybe you might enjoy something else you know for your main I don't know uh, I know I was having a bit of difficulty uh, you know choosing what jobs I'd like to play on my you know secondary character and personally, also like to consider what will be entertaining for <laughs> what people are, uh, are looking to see in my videos. That's that's more of a personal thing. Like I'm choosing a job so that other people want to see. Uh, that's really 
there's not a whole lot of people who uh, make videos for that reason, so uh, I can't imagine that's a very common reason to be choosing a certain job to make. But, you know, I still make sure to have fun anyway, so... No one has fun watching someone who's bored playing a video game. And really, again, have fun with it. It's a game. You should have fun. No matter what you decide your main to be, you should always be making sure to have some fun. But uh, anyways, that's that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed the video, and if this helped you on your way to deciding on a new job, or maybe to stick with your current one, then I'd consider that a success on my part. Uh, consider leaving a like, maybe subscribing for more. Uh, Patch 4.2 will be uh, here in just a few days, and uh, be sure to be posting a lot of stuff when that happens. So uh, until then, see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching. Sayonara. Bye-bye.